Hi, I am Kairi Okikulu. Here's your Channel's TV news update for March the 25th, 2021. The federal government has explained reasons behind Nigeria's low rating on the Transparency International Corruption Perception Index, blaming it on gaps and opaqueness in doing business in Nigeria. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, explains that reforms have been initiated, particularly in the port sector, to engender more transparency in the system. He says inconsistencies in Transparency International rating in the last 10 years is likely owing to inadequate data, but is confident that by the time reforms generated begins to yield fruit, the nation's corruption perception index will improve. And controversial Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi says if bandits are not assured of their safety and rehabilitation, they will not let go of their arms. The cleric made the comment during a virtual event hosted by the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies on Insecurity of a Country. Sheikh Kumi says the government needs to reassure the bandits of their safety and reintegration into the society before they can lay it down their arms. The Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency is calling the attention of governments in eight states of the country on the need to take early precautions as they may experience severe flooding. The Director General of the agency, Clement Nze, says latest predictions show that Bayelsa, Kogi, Ondo, Chigawa and four other states stand at risk of experiencing heavy flooding if drainages and canals are not cleared immediately. He also warns people leaving along floodplains to relocate to safer areas before the peak of the rains. On the foreign scene, Germany has backtracked on its plan to impose a strict Easter weekend shutdown after public outcry as the European Union said it would tighten vaccine export controls in a bid to ramp up its stuttering inoculation campaign. Germany says it will scrap plans to close most shops in the country over Easter from April the 1st to the 5th after facing stinging criticism on the plan. The melee over vaccines comes as several countries battle third waves of the virus, with some governments looking to impose new anti-virus measures. And in sports, Netherlands began their 2022 World Cup qualifying campaign with a surprise defeat by Turkey as Burak Yilmaz scored a hat-trick. The Dutch runners-up in 2020 fell behind when Burak Yilmaz's deflected shot wrong-footed goalkeeper Tim Crow. Yilmaz then converted a penalty before Hakan Kalnoglu curled in a third. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I am Kairo Kikun. Thank you for watching.